Um, but here I am. I think we're live and in person. And I wanted to speak with all you guys personally. So we, we got a lot of really cool stuff coming on. On April 4th, we're doing the seminar I was going to do in Tampa for WrestleMania, but WrestleMania is closed down. And uh, from what I understand, there's a lot of things going on in the business right now where a lot of things are slowing down. And so I was actually on a call with one of my guys today. He's a client of mine, but he's also a friend. His name is Ryan. And he had a really good question. He goes, hey, man, listen, um, I'm following all the steps and everything's working, but how, how, do, how do I make this work for me when, when wrestling is slowing down or promoters aren't looking for anybody? Or, or like, what do I do now like, to keep moving forward? And I thought it was a great question. And, and I wasn't expecting it. And it really brought it to my attention that that's really going to be an issue right now for a lot of guys like how do you move forward when there's nowhere to move forward to like what do we do during this time and so even though uh, I well I, I shared with them a story of what happened to me a couple of years ago when I was still in wrestling school when I was first first starting out I was maybe like a year or two in and even though it wasn't like a worldwide pandemic I couldn't wrestle for something like three months and I'll explain to you what happened so basically what happened is well, before I get into the story, I, I want to share with you my thoughts on this whole situation, right? There's seasons to anything. And I, I'm going to get back to my story in a second, but there's seasons to anything. And so basically what we're experiencing right now is, is winter, right? But it, th this is going to last, it could last a couple of weeks, could last a couple of months. But the fact of the matter is most likely, unless, it's the, unless this is the apocalypse, which I really don't think it is, this is going to start bouncing back. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's going to be shows that happen again once the hysteria dies down and, and we're all wrestlers here, we, we can kind of feel when the media is hyping something up, we, not, we kind of know when like, like there's something that's being, you know, trying to put over on us. And we also know when something's legitimate. So this isn't going to be, la this isn't going to be something that lasts forever. This is going to bounce back, but what, right now we're in winter. And so when winter happens, that's when like the trees start to, you know, fall apart, snow comes over, things start to slow down a little bit. But what happens after winter is usually spring, right? So if we can prepare now, you have a really great opportunity to take your career to the next level. I'm going to explain to you what I mean. So what I told you before is when I was in wrestling school, I was about a year or two in, and I was starting to get good, but I wasn't where I really wanted to go. And so what was happening was I, I was training with a pretty reputable trainer, but I was kind of stuck in my habits. And not just bad habits, but also I was stuck in just habits of how I've always done things. So meaning like how I would email promoters or how I would wrestle or how I would um, contact people, even like my wrestling style, my character. And when you're around the same people all the time, you tend to be like them. So what was happening for me was I was going to training every Tuesday, every Thursday for like two, three, four hours a night. It's so like eight hours, 10 hours a week. And I'm being exposed to my trainer. And we are, you know, I'm, I'm working with my trainer. We're going to the same shows, you know, like, you know how like the training school, usually all like the guys work for the same promotions. So I was, I was stuck in my routine. I was doing my thing. Now it wasn't that my routine was bad, but what, what was really happening was I wasn't making any progress. So what happened was I was like, I was a senior in high school at the time. I ended up going to college. And when you're a freshman at the college I went to, you couldn't, you could not bring your car at all. So I couldn't drive to practice. I had, nowhere, I had no way to go unless it was a vacation or something like that. So I ended up going three months without wrestling. All right, true story. And the funny thing is I actually got better. I actually got better in the three months off than I had in the past two years of actually being a wrestler. And it was strange. It doesn't make any sense, but it really does if you think about it. Because what was happening is in that time off, everything kind of slowed down, right? So when you're trying to grind it out, you're going to training, you're busting your ass, you're going to the shows, you're doing the drives, all the stuff you're supposed to do. And it becomes autopilot after a while. Do you know what I'm saying? So you never really stop to think, well, why am I doing what I'm doing? So that three months off, I wasn't doing the same stuff all the time. And I really had to think, well, why am I doing what I'm doing? And I couldn't be in training, but I still wanted to learn. So what I, what I was doing instead was I was watching shoot interviews. Like this is before like YouTube was big, but we, you know, my, my friends and I were sharing DVDs and stuff and we were like tape traders. So I had the Jake, the snake Robert shoot interview where he was talking about psychology and, and, you know, in depth and how to do promos and how to work a different way. I was watching Bret Hart shoot interviews or like DVDs were, were becoming a big thing. Right. Remember like those anthology sets. So I was watching the Ric Flair anthology from WWE. Or I was watching the Bret Hart anthology and like studying matches. And the real funny thing started happening is 
because I wasn't doing the same thing that my trainer was always telling me to do. And because I wasn't like around the same people and because I had a chance to really take a step back and, and evaluate, well, what am I doing? What am I not doing? And I started getting a different perspective from watching these interviews, getting a different psychology, listening to the, these seminars and watching these different tapes and getting ideas, right? When I came back, my character was different. The way I worked in the ring was different. The spots I was doing was different. Um, the way I approached promoters was different because I had all this different perspective. And plus I've been away for a while. So now I was rearing to go. So I, I had the spike in my career. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying here is even though this might be weird in the short term, this could be, if you guys play this, if you guys play your cards right, if you play this right, this could be the biggest boom in your wrestling career when this all comes back to normal. Because here's what's happening, right? You guys might be working for promotions that don't appreciate you. And now you're not working for them right now, right? So you can really reevaluate, do I want to work for these people anymore? You can really evaluate, well, I, I've been working for this many years. I've made this progress, but I haven't made that progress. Well, what's not going right? What, what, what can be made even better? And so now you're going to be able to evaluate and, and make some changes when you couldn't do that before because you were so busy, like just doing stuff. Does that make sense? Or you have a chance to really study and look at things and get a different perspective. I really think that if, if you guys can leverage this right, you'll be so much more positioned to really take the next step in your career when this comes back. So there's really two options, right? It is take this and learn and grow and study and kind of do what I did when I was at college. Or you can be like the, the people that are in fight or flight right now that are complaining and going on Facebook, ah, this sucks, right? L listen, like this, this is a crappy situation, but WrestleMania is canceled, you know, or not canceled, but you know, so like if it's affecting Vince McMahon and WrestleMania, like it's not going to be any different for you. So you got you to roll with the cards that are dealt. So here's, here's what I want to do to help everybody out. I really want to give you guys an opportunity to learn and grow and be with a team of guys that, that really have a good attitude, um, positive think and, and point you in the right direction. I have a group called Superstar Academy, and this is a really good place to start because what we do, there's a lot of great guys, a lot of great girls in the group. We're all serious. We're all professional. We all want to help each other out. We're not burying each other, right? We're not crapping on each other. We really want to help each other grow. And, and the cool thing about this is every month we do a seminar. We do a seminar about, you know, how to get tryouts. We do a seminar about how to ask promotions for more money. We've done seminars about, how, uh, you know, what to do when nothing's working and you're frustrated. We do character development seminars, how to work for TV. And the one that we're doing this week is, I got the title right here, how to lay the groundwork for promotions that you want to work with without sounding like you're politicking and really even in this time, right? How do you set the groundwork for something that you want to might work for like in three years from now, but don't know how to do that? Or how do you start getting bookings now or when this starts to come back? So we're going to lay the groundwork. And the other thing that's really cool, I shared with you how watching tapes, Bret Hart, you know, Shawn Michaels, R Ric Flair, watching these classic matches really helped me out as far as learning a new psychology. Every month we do tape studies in there. So I'll play a match. You guys can watch it. I'm on live just like this, but it's picture in picture. And we go through it. And I, I share with you production tips because I was a producer and director. I share with you wrestling tips because I was a worker as well. So I could share with you psychology. I've shown you some of my old independent matches when I was about to get tryout. So I go, well, here's what the agents were telling me at the time. And here's what helped me to get the tryout or like tapes that I would send in that would actually get me good responses. So we show you famous matches. We show you local matches and we really break it down. And this is going to help you guys so much, especially now when there's not much going on. So what I want to do, I want to make it really, really easy for you guys. And I want to give you guys a great place to, to, um, to be a part of the community. Normally it's $19.97 a month. So $19.97 for the next month. If you're, if you're a new member, I put the link, it's up here. It's somewhere. I put the link, click the link, go there. Um, you're going to click either the monthly or the yearly membership. You're going to get a free month, right? So check it out. If you hate it, cancel it. If you love it, stay as long as you want, but check it out. We'll help you out. And uh, on top of that, um, the, like I told you, the, the one we're going to do tomorrow is how to lay the groundwork for promotions you want to work for without sounding like a politician. And what we're going to do is, is a bigger seminar too, which is going to be open to the general public on April 4th. We're going to do it in Tampa, but I mean, Tampa's closed, right? So we're going to do it online. And this is really how to supercharge your career in the next 18 months. So there's a link to that as well. Um, I think it's posted at the top of this thing. But what I'd like you to do right now, if you, if you so choose to, go to the link for Superstar Academy. You're going to get a free month. You're going to type in the promo code one month free. All the info's here. It's somewhere. You, you, you guys, I trust you, you can find it. Um, but go there. We're going to do the seminar tomorrow. We're going to do a tape study here soon. And we do a monthly. And there's an archive. 
So everything we do, we tape it, record it, and you guys can watch it basically for the next three months. So um, check it out. Go get your free month. Um, get ready for when this starts to, to take, you know, to pick up again. And I look forward to seeing you there. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you at the WrestleMania seminar that we were going to do um, on April 4th. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, this can be the best time of your career if, if you leverage this the right way. So I'll talk to you soon, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.